Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Your Excellency President Mahinda Rajapaksa, Your Excellency Prime Minister, Visiting Senior Statesman of Asia, Founding Chairman of ICAP, Secretary General of ICAP, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning. May I at the outset express my sincere gratitude to President Rajapaksa for inviting me to attend this important ceremony. Mr. President, Excellencies, we may not agree on all and every issue. We may in many cases have contrasting ideologies and vastly differing approaches. After all, it is this variety that makes pluralism so appealing to the people. However, let us always respect these differences and thereby respect one another. Let us recognize that by serving a political party or a political ideology, we are in fact serving the people. Excellencies, the 21st century is surely the century of Asia in more ways than one. In economics, trade and commerce, in social upliftment, in achievement and prosperity. Through forums such as this, we can ensure that Asia is also at the forefront of pluralist political ideology. We in the SARC region believe that by pooling our collective resources and emphasizing on our competitive advantages, we can overcome our most pressing problems and eradicate our most worrisome scourges, including poverty, environmental degradation, and unemployment. The strength of ICAP is undoubtedly in its breadth of membership. I firmly believe that SARC too can adopt a similar path to advancement. The conference theme, building an Asian community, aptly encompasses this visionary approach. SARC can become more relevant and vibrant through engagements with dialogue partnership and observers from various other regions, including members of the Asian family. I believe that it is time for SARC to open up its doors for stronger engagement with the breadth of countries represented in this conference. Our region is blessed with visionary leaders like President Rajapaksa and Prime Minister Modi. At recent meetings with both President Rajapaksa and Prime Minister Modi, I was impressed with the commitment to strengthen our regional bloc in its political and economic dealings with other global spheres of influence. We also share common views on reform in the United Nations, including the Security Council, to make the UN system more democratic. We seek a stronger voice for developing countries, for small island developing states, for landlocked developing states, for Asia as a whole. In SARC too, our political parties can, through greater cooperation with respective governments, ensure that national endeavors, programs, and projects that are designed to uplift the lives of our people receive bipartisan support. Such maturity, I believe, will raise the confidence of the people in pluralism and participatory democracy. Our political parties must be willing and able to engage in such dialogue and to connect with the people. This conference is fortunate to have President Raj Paksa as the chair. Your Excellency's experience, fortitude, and astuteness will undoubtedly drive proceedings to a successful conclusion. My warm congratulations to Sri Lanka on bringing this important conference to our region. I wish you all success in your deliberations. Thank you.